With top hat a little on one side and monocle a bit foggy, Charlie McCarthy is still at large, followed anxiously by Edgar Bergen, without whom Charlie would just be a funny-looking wooden doll. But with two-voiced Edgar Bergen to speak for him, Charlie is well on the way to earning the title of public nuisance number one. Nevertheless, we're all very fond of Charlie, and we hope he is fully recovered from last week's slight indisposition. No, doll, <clears throat> I'm sorry to say that Charlie has not improved. And although I've done my best as a practicing physician... Uh, yeah. I wish you'd stop practicing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, Charlie, but your tonsils, they, they must come out. Is that so? Yes. Uh, you mean you'll have to... Uh... I'm afraid so. Uh, but, Doctor, I feel better. You do? Yes. I feel better. You do? Uh-huh. I got you there, huh? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I felt better as soon as I saw your slaughterhouse. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make a bit of difference, young man. No. No. Not even if I feel good? Not even if you feel good. Oh, you hate to lose a customer, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Well, now, let's talk this thing over, Doctor. Yes. I, um, uh, I suggest we postpone this thing until tomorrow, huh? No, no. Let's get an early morning start at the crack of dawn around 11.30. No, no. no. I think we better do it now. But I would much rather do it tomorrow. It doesn't make any difference what you'd rather do. Oh, doesn't it? Not a bit. Uh-huh. Well, that's another way of looking at it. <laughs> I thought maybe as a favor. No, no, it wouldn't make a bit of difference. Uh, I certainly got a drag around here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you understand, young man, I'm trying to help you. That's good of you. Yes. <clears throat> I guess there's no use kidding myself. I have suffered. Of course you have. Oh, how I've suffered. <laughs> oh, I suffer all the time. Yes. But it doesn't help. No. I don't think I'm suffering right. Maybe you're not. <laughs> there must be a knack to it. Yes. Yesterday I was so weak, doctor. I was so weak I couldn't even raise my voice. Is that so? I just sat and hung my head. That's the only exercise I had. Yeah. Uh, how much do you charge for an operation like this, Doctor? Well, of course, I always try to be considered. Well, that's nice. Yes. For this operation, I will charge anywhere from nothing at all up to $300. Is that so? Yes. Oh. Well, I'll take one for nothing at all. <laughs> and don't skimp on anything either. No. I want hand sewing and all that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's me all over. Oh, Miss Lemour, uh, are the instruments sterilized? Yes, Dr. Bergen, they're boiling. So am I. <laughs> yes, I have everything ready for the operation, so let's proceed. Yes. Um, oh, nurse, uh, uh, um, why are you and the doctor all dressed up in white? Mm-hmm. For your operation. Is that so? Uh, that's nice of you. Yes. I didn't know I was going to have a formal opening. Oh, <laughs> I should have worn my tuxedo. Yes, you should have. I'll wear a black dress if you like, Charlie. No, no, I think you look much better in white. Uh, with you for my nurse, I'm going to be sick for a long time. My beautiful one. Your eyes are like... A... That will do, young man. Yes. Put your head down. Yeah, well, don't push me. Just, well, don't push me, you hear? Oh, no. <laughs> don't shove. All right. I'll clip you. All right. I'll mow you down. <laughs> Get the idea? I get the idea. Yes. I'm a customer here. Yes, I know. I want service and courtesy. Yes, all right. What's the idea of covering me up, nurse? You must keep nice and warm. Oh. I, I'm not cold. <laughs> not yet. I may be cold by tomorrow. <laughs> I don't feel so hot now. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. How's your pulse? Oh, just ducky. How's yours? <laughs> The anesthetic, please. Uh, I don't want any of that stuff. Oh, it won't hurt you at all. You'll drift on and on into oblivion. Is that so? I hope it's a round trip. (laughs) Now, don't forget to count every time you take a breath. Yeah, I'll fool you. I won't breathe. (laughs) Oh, doctor. Yes, Charlie? If if the worst should come to the worst. Yes. If I should uh, decease her. Yes. Uh, would you see that Skinny Dugan gets my bicycle? Oh, I see. If you die, you want to leave your bicycle to Skinny Dugan? Yes. He's my pal. Well, I shall see that Skinny will get your bicycle. Yes. Uh, what? Well, of course. <laughs> only, only if you should die. Yes. Yeah. But you don't have to go out of your way, you know. No. 
Put your head down. Yes. Now let me cover your eyes. Uh huh. Now start counting. A one, a two. <laughs> oh, I smell embalming fluid. <laughs> now take a nice, deep Ooh. breath. I can see Skinny riding my bicycle. <laughs> Oh, redwood fir and oaks. Oh, I'll get even with fields. That bird in the fake, too. <laughs> clang, clang. I feel so foolish. Good evening, Dr. Bergen. I heard you were operating, and I just dropped in to see if there were any prospects. Glad you called. Stand by, Mr. Gearfob. Oh, well, where am I? How long have I been sleeping? Is the operation over? No, Charlie. We haven't started yet. No? No. I want you to meet my very good friend here, uh, Mr. Don Amici Gearfob. No, the undertaker. How do... Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. Aren't you uh, a little early here? Is it? Say, is this operation serious? Oh, no, no, no. No? Have you lost many patients, doctor? Only two of my patients have died. Only two? Uh-huh. How many have you had? You're my third. Yeah, let me out of here. Let me out of here. 